The Emancipation. This is an interesting film uh, for a couple of reasons. First of all, this is an Apple TV Plus film. And my review was late for this because I actually didn't know this film was dropping so soon. I thought it was dropping like next week or something. I didn't really know the exact release date. It's an interesting movie, though, because of the fact that this film is... Uh, I don't know how to explain it, but this film is weird because this is an Oscar bait movie that's not going to win any Oscars. Um, this is a movie about slavery, a terrible time in history. You know, there are several movies that have won Oscars and awards for being about that subject. And I don't want to say just for being about that subject, like 12 Years of Slave was a great movie, even if it didn't get nominated for Oscars or any of that, it definitely deserved all the awards. Um, but this film, it doesn't, and it, and it really, this film tries to be really powerful and really meaningful, but I think, I do like a couple aspects to this movie, but I really don't like this movie, and that's just because I really think it's time to stop giving Will Smith direct, dramatic parts. He's not a good dramatic actor. He's a phenomenal charismatic lead who's fun to watch in, like, in stuff like Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and Men in Black and fun stuff like that. He's a terrible dramatic actor. I don't think he's like one of those dramatic actors where you're, where you're watching him and you're cringing at all. But he's terrible in the sense that he's giving this dramatic performance that you can tell is fake. Like, every time he says a line, it feels like someone trying really hard to give a dramatic performance. And it's, I do like the aspect of this film being in black and white through most of it. It really, it really shows you the harshness of this time of slavery, things like that. And that's a cool aspect. But I think that's what. But I don't think they did that on purpose, though. I think, no, that's the wrong word for it. They did do it on purpose. Like it was clearly a directorial choice. But it was a choice that was probably made because black and white films get more buzz at the Oscars, and that's the whole point of this movie. It's to get Will Smith another best Oscar nomination, or some attention, and the director a nomination for making this movie, and it and it feels that way, it's boring, it doesn't really, in terms of the genre of movies about slavery, which is so hilarious to say that's a genre, but like, it kind of is, we, how many movies do we have about slavery in that time of history, like a shit ton, and uh, this one doesn't offer anything new to that, it just, it just is a very cliche version of this time in history with someone who's really trying to give a good dramatic performance, but that's just not his strong suit. And I'm not, and I always have to say this when I talk about Will Smith like that, that is not to discredit Will Smith as an actor. Every actor has something they're good at. And Will Smith is not good at this, and that's fine. But the problem is he keeps choosing to do this. This is not something he should be doing because it's not a strong suit. It's a very boring, very lame, excuse of an oscar bait movie because at the end of the day i watched the Golden. i saw i looked up the golden globes nominations yesterday nothing got nothing i don't think the oscars are gonna give this especially not after that will smith slapping incident it's just what's the point of this film i i you know i and i have a feeling this film i, I don't i don't know if this is true i have to look it up but i'd have to take a guess the film was in production before uh before he had won Best Actor, so he he made King Richard as an attempt, but he said, hey, if this one doesn't work, I got this one on the, on the pipeline, and if King Richard was not nominated for Best Actor, and, and he didn't slap Chris Rock, this one would have been nominated. But because he did that, it's not. And I think this, I think the sad reality of this movie is it's just a very weak film about a time in history that is very messed up, very disturbing. But there are films that portray that reality better and do everything this film does better and have way better performances and, and you know, aren't just using the black and white aesthetic just to bait the Oscars into nominating them. It's just, no thank you.